With it being Halloween today, another topic on the minds of many is safety when going door to door. Oran Spitzer joining us with some of the tips you can take with you as you head out for the festivities. Oran. That's right. Halloween is a time for the community to come together and enjoy sugary treats, but we should all do so safely. In a recent press release, the New York Poison Center set some reminders for Halloween. This includes checking the expiration date for makeup as expired makeup can cause irritation or an allergic reaction. Don't chew on glow sticks as the liquid may cause a stinging or burning sensation and make sure that your candy is packaged and unopened to avoid possible food poisoning. But there are a few more safety tips you should also follow. I spoke with Brendan Hurley, the public information officer from Monroe County Sheriff's Office. Here are his Halloween night safety reminders. If they're old enough where they can be out by themselves or without you, without the parent, make sure they're in a group. Don't let them go out by themselves. Make sure you let them know that they're not going up to houses without lights on. Make sure interior and exterior lights are on before you go up to any of those homes. Make sure that your kids have a, a warm enough costume. If they're wearing a mask, make sure that your kids can see where they're going. Make sure that they're not going to trip over anything like that. Make sure you're being a good pedestrian. Don't just cross the road anywhere you want. Use those crosswalks. Make sure it's safe. Look both ways. All those normal things, but especially tonight because there's going to be a lot of people out. According to Hurley, there won't be a heavier police presence, but a shift in focus to more residential areas to make sure trick-or-treaters are safe. In studio, Oran Spitzer, back to you, Natalie.